How's everybody today? Good. Well, I talked about this this morning on the SEC conference call um, about the internal challenge that everybody has to um, be the best player that they can be. And I think the, the thing that we're trying to focus on is to get the players to focus on the technical aspects of what they need to do to play this game. You know, every team presents different challenges. Uh, and we're not here to judge anybody's team or talent or anything else. But, you know, technically, you got to know how to play the plays. You got to know who to block. Uh, you got to know how to block their stunts. Um, we got to know how to play the option, which we haven't played against all season long and, and for a long time. All right, so there, there's a lot of technical challenges uh, that we need to prepare ourselves for and go out there and practice every day so we understand exactly what we have to do to play well. And I think because this is a little different challenge from that standpoint, that that's really, really important. So, you know, I think this team has, you know, responded well um, every time we've challenged them in the past. So, you know, hopefully we'll be able to um, continue to improve through the course of the week. You know, we were a lot better today than yesterday. Um, so hopefully we'll continue to improve through the course of the week. Uh, it looked like during the viewing period that Slade Bolden was out there at scout team quarterback. What kind of a look was he able to give you this week? Well, I think it's been really good. You know, he played a similar kind of offense uh, in high school. I think that's one of the most difficult things about playing against this. It happens so much faster in the game than whatever you can duplicate in practice. Um, you know, you got big splits to deal with. You got traps. You got all kinds of different. But the fullback hits it so much faster than we can duplicate in practice. The quarterback is so much quicker to get the ball in the perimeter. Um, and, uh, you know, their guy that's played the last two games has rushed for a couple hundred yards in each game. I mean, he's he really used to be a running back. So the guy is um, really, really a challenge. And, you know, Slade's a little bit like that. So uh, at least I think we're getting uh, a decent picture on the perimeter. How would you assess your team's ability to, to force turnovers this season and to capitalize them on them? Uh, uh, I think we've capitalized on them pretty well. I think we've got our share of interceptions, uh, but you know we've we've been harping all year long on attacking the ball, creating more fumbles, getting the ball out, uh, really ball hawking, you know, to try to get the ball out. Um, we haven't probably been as successful at that as we'd like to be or hope to be. Uh, and we're going to continue to focus on it and work on it. You know, uh, every day, that's right after flex, that's what we do is, you know, five minutes of, you know, turnover drills. You know, it's first of all to help our offense. Um, but, you know, we lost a turnover battle in the last game two to one, um, which is not good. And we, we, we need to get more, and we need to take care of the ball better on offense. Do you have an update on Deontay Brown and how his turf toe is progressing? Yeah, well, we're, we're we're giving him a few days off. Um, he'll be day to day, but this kind of injury, I think, can really linger um, if you don't give a guy a chance to heal up. So we're trying to use this opportunity, and we'll evaluate him every day. Two more. We got the right around the left. Given your track record of success, are you surprised when fans and outsiders do question how you manage certain situations within the program? Uh, I don't really, I haven't heard anything in terms of what I'm being challenged on, uh, but I'm sure that I am. But I would really rather not know uh, because, you know, everybody's got the right to their opinion about whatever it is they think should or shouldn't be done. And, um, you know, I kind of have my opinion based on the experience through the years, and we have an opinion as a staff as to what's better what's best to build our team and improve our team. Uh, just like when I got asked on Monday, like, I should not play, we should not play Tua in this game. Well, if we didn't play Tua in this game, we'd be sending the message to every good player that we have that they shouldn't play in the game. So eventually, why should we even play? I don't just forfeit so nobody gets hurt, take a loss, just be done with it. Or is it an opportunity for everybody to improve and grow and you know, challenge themselves to get better uh, so that we go out and execute and play better as a team and build a little momentum through the week and the game. All right, so maybe we play better in the next game. So that's what I believe. Um, and, you know, it really doesn't matter what anybody else thinks. 
Um, they have every right to work like I've worked for 40 some years as a coach and get a job and have their own team. And they can make any decision that they want. I tell the assistants that all the time. You want to do it that way? Get you a head job and you can do it that way. All right, but right now, this is the way we're going we're to do it. So if I tell them that, so is it the fans questioning or you? That would be my question. I don't know of any outside noise. I don't have internet. I don't have Twitter. I don't read the paper. So I, I, don't, I don't know. You have to be more specific. So is there something specific? I mean, I should ask you for that to start with, but I really don't care, to be honest with you. I think it's a lot of people you don't know. All right, following that, uh, we've seen you use the Wildcat uh, formation in the last two games. What do you like about that formation and then specifically uh, Josh Jacobs' ability to, to run out of it? Well, I like whatever's successful, okay? So as long as we're successful in it, I like it. As soon as we're unsuccessful in it, I won't like it too much. Is that fair enough? Um, and as long as Josh Chaffee says what he's supposed to do, I like what he's doing. As soon as he messes it up, then I won't like it. So I'm like, you know, not, not really making a commitment one way or the other. <laughs> Other than I like it when it works and I don't like it when it doesn't work. So, but, you know, when you have a guy who can play in a quarterback position, somebody still has to go cover the quarterback if he's out. So, therefore, you have an extra blocker now, numbers wise, because you've taken a guy out of their defense to cover the quarterback. Most of the time, you're not covering a quarterback when he's getting the ball, so you have one less blocker. You have the same number of blockers, they have one less man on defense to defend with. That's math, you know, 10 minus 1. Coach will finish up right here. 11 minus 1 is 10. Uh, coach, it's been a while since we've uh, heard anything about Terrell Lewis or Trevon Diggs. I know they had bad injuries that were going to last a long time. I just wondered if, uh, one, how they're coming along, and two, if there's any chance that I'll either or both could play this year. You know, I, I really – I don't think Trayvon Diggs, probably relative to his injury, has any chance to come back. Uh, I have never talked to Terrell about what his interests would be or uh, even haven't even talked to Doc about when he would clear him medically. Um, so I really can't answer that. I can tell you both guys are doing well in terms of their rehab and doing the things that they need to do to get back. Um, so I don't, I don't really have a good answer for you on that one uh, because we haven't really considered it yet until a guy gets cleared medically and he can start practicing and all that and everybody's good with it. Um, we, we don't even think about it. All right, Coach. All right, thanks.